In this study, we aimed to investigate whether fish consumption is associated with colorectal cancer risk. We used the data from the EPIC study, a large European cohort with over half a million participants. In EPIC, total fish consumption was collected at the recruitment in all the participants. Fish consumption was also classified in subtypes, such as oily fish or lean fish, depending on their fat content. Oily fish include fish such as mackerel, trout, salmon, or sardines, while lean fish include cod, sun-like fish, haddock, or pollock. After following the participants for 15 years, over 6,000 of them developed colorectal cancer. We compare levels of fish consumption between those who developed colorectal cancer and those who did not. For that, we use statistical tools which exclude the effect of other colorectal cancer risk factors, such as obesity, smoking, or physical inactivity from the analysis. We found that the participants who consume fish on a regular basis had 12% lower risk of colorectal cancer. We also found that intake of both fatty or lean fish protects against the risk of developing colorectal cancer. Interestingly, our results showed that compliance with the World Health Organization's recommendation for fish intake, which is to consume one to two servings of fish per week, results in 7% lower risk for colorectal cancer. Furthermore, when we looked at dietary levels of long-chain omega-3 fatty acid and colorectal cancer risk, we found that the levels of intake of long-chain omega-3 fatty acids was associated with a lower colorectal cancer risk. This study is important because it provides additional evidence that the consumption of fish at levels recommended by the World Health Organization may prevent colorectal cancer, possibly through specific fatty acids present in the fish. In summary, fish consumption should be encouraged as part of a healthy and diverse diet.